Mold is probably the number one issue in First Nation housing. And the first thing you do when you walk into a house is you can smell it. I did have a couple um, tenants come regarding mold issues because of the location of their houses too. When a house gets started, before it's constructed, a set of plans are produced. Uh, specify how the house is to be built. We come and look at the site. We look at uh, the foundations prior to concrete being poured. Well, the site, you want to try and keep it as high, get as high and get good drainage away from the building. You don't want any water laying around, pooling around the building. So the site is very important and the type of soil you're going to build on it. The number one issue is the foundation. We need to make sure that we disconnect them from the ground. We need to make sure we get them properly insulated. We need to make sure any ground covers or air barriers we put down there, we connect them. Problems with crawl spaces that are just not built properly in the first place. They're not sealed properly or insulated properly. Uh, they lack heat or mechanical ventilation. And that's a, a big problem down there. Your basement walls need to be insulated with the proper moisture barrier on the wall. And we really should be putting insulation under the slabs we're pouring in our basements. When we get to the main floor, we need to make sure that the design over the main floor controls the mold. We look at the framing, uh, the installation of the insulation, the vapor barrier and the air barrier systems. When we get into the attics, we need to make sure that the trusses have high heel designs on them. What a high heel truss does is it puts the, the end of it up high like that so we can put more insulation flush with the outside wall. We need good ventilation in our roofs so that any air that, that's up in there, we move it out and we control that. We are actually looking into developing uh, new areas. Hopefully we've selected good areas for these homes. We've um, taken into consideration our capital studies. The capital planning study is our plan of everything in the community, which includes our housing, our infrastructure, our water treatment plants. Where most homes are located now in the community, there's really, um, Poor areas, it's more swampy, marsh, wetland, I guess. So we have to now look at developing into new, new areas. People are becoming more aware. They're talking more about mold. They're calling the ban office to say that I have a mold in my house. Is there anything that can be done? So that's, uh, to me, that's uh, awareness building up. And then education needs to happen. How do you prevent it? Mold can be destructive, but with that education and building capacity within our community, I think we can take a proactive approach in uh, any future housing or infrastructure developments.